Hey, my name is Johnny, and I want to talk about McDonald's and working at McDonald's. As it seems that Harris uh, is lying about where she works, and if she knew, or if she really did work at McDonald's, which her the person that even helped write her book says that they didn't know about this, and also the fake. Well, you have to watch. You have to watch Candace Owens to, to find out the rest of this. That even the the black family relatives she said that she had are not real. But you got to watch Candace Owens for that. So I wanted to say about my experience about working at McDonald's. Now you have to realize uh, I had a, a guy who worked with blind people. If you don't know, I'm, I'm a blind person, and back. Then I was legally blind, and the guy was named Tom Corsi, and he worked with uh, blind students. That was his job. And, he, and I said, hey, I, I need a summer job. And he says, I'll help you find a jump, summer job. I'll help you fill out the applications. Because at that time, when I was applying for a job at McDonald's, they had no... Um, computers w where you can fill out the application. Now this is like back in probably 1977, 1977, so it's way back. So I remember um, we filled out the application and so he took me and he was, he was negotiating with this, uh, this guy was a veteran, he was a, a white guy, he was a veteran and he was a manager of uh, a of McDonald's and he even had a disability where he got wounded in the war in the war so one of his arms was wounded I don't know if it was it was half amputated or, or what but he had a, a, a wounded arm so Mr. Corsi took me down there and we met with the manager and uh, we started talking about it and the guy was just saying oh, I don't know I don't know it seemed like well, what are what are my workers gonna think about working with a legally blind person. I mean, they may not work with them well. And of course, like most sighted people who think that, you know, just because you're blind, you might be, you know, <laughs> stupid in cooking. I cook at, I used to cook at my mother's house. I would cook sausages and all this other unhealthy food, pork and beans and hot dogs. So I didn't get burnt at home. But, you know, this guy felt like, Oh, you know, he might he might burn himself, or it might be a liability. So at that time, there was no rights for people with disabilities, legally blind or not. And still today, there's 70% unemployment in the blind community. So it ended up that I did not get the job at McDonald's, but I went over to a, 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 a girl in my school uh, she was a Native American. She told me that she was working at this restaurant called Plaza Deli in Denver, Colorado. And her boss is this Jewish guy and really, really nice guy, Ron. He used to comb his hair back and he wore sunglasses and a black shirt, and rolled up the sleeves and wore white pants all the time. Really good looking, looking like he knew he was, you know, you heard that song, Sexy and You Know It. He was, he was that, he was that very good looking guy, right? And uh, so he hired me to be a dishwasher at Plaza Deli. So even though the uh, veteran uh, guy who had been wounded in the war didn't hire me at McDonald's, uh, Plaza Deli, and a guy named Ronnie looked beyond my blindness in 1977 and uh, gave me my second job because there used to be something in school called work study where you would work at school and they couldn't discriminate at the school with work study right so that's my story and uh, like share and uh, subscribe talk to you soon